Don't spook spirit or the spirit moves on you, you just get up and you go with it. You don't wait for somebody to invite you. But uh, uh, I, I do. I love the Lord this morning. And uh, I, I had a thought uh, that come to me when I, I was sitting down there. Young people, I just want to talk to you for just a minute. I ain't going to take a lot of time, just five minutes. But uh, uh, I remember as a, young, as a young boy, I remember I was you know, five, six years old. And uh, uh, when I was five or six years old, I wanted to be, I wanted to be a ninja. Boy, I, I, I ran around that yard, had my black mask on me, my, my colors, boy, and I thought, man, I'm going to be a ninja when I grow up. And, uh, then a couple of years, I, I, I got into BMX bikes, and I thought, I'm going to ride a BMX bike for a living when I get older. You know, I'm going to do all these stunts. Boy, I was out there trying to jump my bicycle off my mama's house and everything, and she thought I was going to kill myself, you know. And I, uh, but, but, you know, I, I, was, I was a happy kid and everything, and uh, I, I had good parents that, that loved me, and I had a daddy who tried to raise me right, and I, I say all this to tell you this, because uh, there was a time in my life when I, when I got to my teenage years that uh, I, I left some things in my chamber that I, that I shouldn't have let in, and, uh, you know, as the preacher said the other night, and, uh, I can remember uh, uh, I was 12 years old when I had my first beard. 12 years old when I had my first beard. I, I, and I, uh, I, I knew where some was at, and I, I snuck out of my house late one night, and I went down there, and I, I, I got me one of them. You know, I, I thought I was big. You know, I, I was sitting here, I was drinking my beer and everything, you know, and, uh, you know, it wasn't much later. I thought, well, you know, uh, I, I never really got into drugs or anything, but I, I've drank my share of alcohol, uh, uh, kids, and, uh, uh, you know, and I, I thought I was happy, but I wasn't happy. And then I got on up a little older where I could drive, and I got me a car. And uh, when I was uh, uh, when I was about 16, 17, the crazy thing was when everybody started putting CD players, these big speaker systems, in their car and everything. We'd cruise around town, and uh, you know, and I, I, I thought, you know, I, first time I come to Bible camp, Brother Danny preached that uh, message about music and, and stuff. And uh, I, I want to share this with you for just a little while. Uh, uh, I used to you sit here looking at me today, you see me out, you see me in my cowboy boots and my Wrangler pants, but uh, uh, when I was a teenager, I walked around my pants hanging off my rear end, and I thought I was a gangster, and I, I thought I was somebody, you know, I thought I was bad, you know, and I, I can tell you, I can sit up here today, I can, I can recite nearly every song, Dr. Dre, Snoop Doggy Dog, every room. <laughs> I'd get in there in that mirror, and I, I would sit there, and I'd stare at that mirror, you know, and I'd have that music playing in the background, and uh, I can remember one day, uh, I went in there in the closet, and uh, I got out there digging around, and I, I got one of my dad's pistols out of the closet. I come in there, and I stuck it down in my pants and said, I'm, I'm bad, man. I'm bad, I tell you what, boy. I'd ride, I got out there, and I'd ride around, and I'd listen to my, my gangster rap and uh, everything, and and uh, you know, I, I grew up in a small town, 600 people had more farms than we did ghettos. We, you know, we was I was a country boy, but I thought I was a gangster. But you know what? I had that music in my head. I can remember I, I listened I, I listened to gangster rap and heavy metal. I can remember listening to songs that says, uh, "Your God is dead, and if there is a hell, I'll see you there." I remember listening to music that said, "Do you know Lucifer? Cause you about to meet him." And I remember one day I was riding around with a friend, and uh, there was an old preacher man about my brother JP down here. And he was standing there in a gazebo, and he was just standing there preaching the Word of God. Amen. And I thought, look at that fool, he's out there preaching. Who's he preaching to? And about that time, I heard that song come on the radio, it talked about Lucifer, and I said, oh, watch this. I'll turn this on up. Turn that music up loud as I could. Boy, I'll drown this preacher man out. Went on down a couple of days late, a week later. You know what? I couldn't get that preacher man out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I, all the things I'd done in my life, all the things I thought was fun, all the times I thought I was bad, uh, but that old preacher man, he got to me. There was a seed planted. And I, yeah. I realized uh, one day not too long after that that I was uh, a sinner, and I realized that I was on my way to hell, and it wasn't a joke, and it wasn't something that was going to be fun and some kind of a party. It was some place that I knew I didn't want to go. Come on, brother. Nobody ever told me about it, but I knew it was real. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you, Lord. And you, uh, brother, talk about using a lost person. And I, uh, I shared this story the other, uh, with Sister Cassie. And all that. I, I met my wife, and her mama was, uh, was real strict. and wanted us to come to church and, and everything. And, uh, you know, 
That was the only place I could see her was at church. So I'd get up early on Sunday morning. I'd drive to church. I'd go and go see her. I wanted, I wanted her. I, you know, I, I, was, I wanted that. I wanted my wife. I, I wish she was here this morning. You know, I, I, she's been a blessing to me. But at that time, she was lost. But she invited me to church, and I went. See, that seed had been planted a few weeks earlier by that man standing on the corner. And then God, by, we lived. Listen, we lived over an hour apart, and I met. But I met her. And then I started going to church. And you say, that don't, that's a coincidence. No, that wasn't a coincidence. Amen. That was God. Amen. That was God's grace. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for God's grace. You think, you guys think the things, the people you hang out with and our thing don't have anything to do affect you. I know I told you about that gun earlier, and I told you about the music that I listened to. And I, I played football. I had a, one of the coaches one time said something to me, and uh, I was on the field, you know, stood inside. He, he got on to me, you know, and was chewing me out. And I thought, I just got mad. Well, I was seen red, I thought. I just wanted, I, I, I had, in my head, I pictured myself killing that guy. But you know what? Everybody thought I was a good guy. I I had I had community people. I, you know, I, I if I'd have, if I'd have seen a, if I'd have seen somebody cross the road need help, I'd stop and help them cross the road. But I was thinking about killing that man. The stuff that you said you said that's you just this is Joe everything nothing nothing affects you. Devil's real. He's got workers out there. Don't you think for a second that he ain't good at what he does and he ain't got stuff that he ain't using things to get to you. Yeah. I was one decision away from making big mistakes. But by God's grace, I'm here today. And for no other reason than that. You know, you, you get up here, I know kids, you sit through all these services, you said these preachers, they get up here and they say the same thing. It's because some of you are so stubborn, you don't listen. You have to keep telling you. You don't want to surrender. You just want to be stubborn and bullheaded. So when we get out of here today and we uh, we fix to go eat, I want you to think about that today. Think about uh, you're young and these, these choices that you made. I was one choice away. I was one one step away from ending up down the wrong path. But God's grace stepped in. And he'll step in your life today if you're ready. I love the Lord. Amen. Everybody bow your head. We're about to bless the food.